Dear friends, uh, you must have heard my first lecture. I am delivering a series of lectures on environment and public speaking. The first episode was Hawking on Environment. Our second episode will be 4 Page C. We want to talk in all these different lectures on environment and environmental public speaking. Without environmental public speaking, we cannot influence the people. We cannot influence the leaders. We cannot influence the community organizers around the world. And if we cannot influence them all, we cannot bring about a transformation, a change in the environment scenario of the world. The world now and now is in the world environment is degrading. Let us begin our talk. Remembering our childhood days. If we remember our childhood days, we'll feel spirited, we'll feel jolly, we'll feel funny. And these three qualities are very important in making a speech on environment. But how to feel it? All right, you are sitting in front of me. I can make you feel spirited. I can take you back to your childhood days. That's just possible because an artist can do it. How can I do it? Yes, let us ask some quizzes. In childhood days, we ask quizzes to each other. And once you ask quiz, you will feel spirited. And you will feel as if you have become a schoolboy. The quiz is, uh, uh, there is a photograph on the wall. The photograph belongs to one of the members of my family. The photograph doesn't belong to my father. It is not the photograph of my mother. Neither it is the photograph of my brother. It is not the photograph of my sister. Then whose photograph it is? It is a wonderful quiz. Very few people can answer it. But remember your school days. You will feel spirited again. The answer is, it is my photograph. Because I am the member of, it, of my family. This is a, a wonderful picture. And once we remember our childhood, we become jolly, we feel eternal, because William Wordsworth, the great poet of the world, has said that child is the father of man. The child is born. Before the child is born, he is in eternity. So the child is closer to eternity than we grown up people. And we see that we need that eternal feeling in making environmental talks. Many people know many important things on environment in a very scientific way, in a very critical way, but they don't have that feeling of eternity. So when they are speaking on environment, it is not getting an action. People or the listeners are not influenced by it. That is because the soul of environmental speaking is you must have connection with eternity. And uh, so this is a quiz. Now go to the second quiz to feel spirited and to feel like a child. The second spirit is 
there was a certain man called A. A read from a certain book. Certain he told people about the book. He spoke it verbatim, getting it by heart. People said that A is a copycat because he copies things. No credit was given to A. Then there is a person B. He also did the same thing. And uh, he's also called a coffee cat. See, he did something, followed some book, didn't have any ideas, he was called a plagiarist. But there was another man, he followed book all the time, but no one called him a plagiarist. No one called him a coffee cat. Answer the question, how is it possible? The answer is, that particular man who followed books all the time even got it again written and spoken that particular man followed a book written by himself I have written the book with some environment and public speaking I've been following most of the time this book but you can't, you can't blame me because this is my book. It has been published in Amazon.uk. It has secured five stars in Amazon.in and Amazon.uk. Of course, it has not been reviewed in America. So in Amazon.com, if you are dealing with America, there won't be any five star. And in Amazon.uk, the five star is given by the Oxford scholars. So I will say my friend, I don't like to make the speech very long, but I'll speak one thing. Uh, in order to talk about the proper parts in environment, we must know the priorities. The priorities are, is already 4 B C. But people are making conflict among themselves. They're fighting among themselves. No. We want biodiversity. Somebody will say, I want global warming. Somebody will see that we want to clean the city. Somebody will say that uh, I will uh, take, be taking care of tigers. But I, but dear friends, I will say that in, the, in this conflict, there is no resolution. They don't want to do anything good on environment. If you fight among each other, your inner purposes, of course we are not speaking it, not to do anything about it. And that is what happens in case of fighting. Let me tell you a nice joke, this joke really happened. One of my uh, organizational friend, the secretary of the organization of ECTA, EKTA ECTA, had gone to Delhi 20 years ago. He was telling the story to me because I am the chief advisor of the organization and I am the consultant on ecology and sustainable development in many of the foremost NGOs in Eastern Ghat mountain ranges. Eastern Ghat mountain ranges is the ninth longest mountain range in the world. And uh, he was telling this job. There was a meeting going on in Delhi on air pollution. Delegates from different parts of the world had come. At the time, so many uh, speeches were done on the stage, but at deep rate, at half of the participants had gone out, but half were there inside the hall. Suddenly they discovered that in one corner of the hall, there was fighting, there was quarreling. Nearly 30 participants went there and asked the three guys who are quarreling among themselves, why are you quarreling sirs? It is not good. Tell us the reason of your quarrel. Then the three boys told, we want to establish the fact that our country is the coldest country in the world and therefore we are fighting it. Why don't you fight? You need not fight. You just tell the example and we will say whose country is the coldest country in the world. 
the first boy who was from England, he told that my country is the oldest country in the world because when there is cold in winter, in order to get rid of cold, we join ten blankets at a time to keep cold up. Oh, wonderful, he said. Your, your country is very, very cold. Then there was a Canadian boy. Then Canadian boy told, uh, Sir, my country is coldest because we join off uh, 20 blankets at a time to keep up cold. Then there was a boy from India. He was from Ladakh. Ladakh is the, it is the northern uh, most tip of Kashmir. In winter, the temperature falls to minus 30, 40 degrees centigrade. That Ladakh boy told, sir, my country is the coldest country. Why? My country is coldest country because when we meet the cow, we get ice cream. Everyone clapped. And that boy stood first. And uh, you see, dear friends, this uh, ice cream uh, which the boy got 20 years ago, you will get it now. Because the globe is warming. The Himalayas is also warming. The ice in the Himalayas are melting and that is the point of our environmental topic. That is the most important point. You see, you sit in a small hotel in Kulu and Manali in India, look through the windows, you will find the Himalayan mountain ranges. Previously there was thick layer of ice on Himalayas, but now the layer of ice is very thin and at some places you see only naked mountain, rock and soil and you can know from Himalayas about the situation of the whole world. North Pole is melting if Himalaya is melting. South Pole is melting if Himalaya is melting. The Kalimanjaro mountain in Africa is melting. And because of global warming there are so many problems, we talk of this thing in our letter at this source. But dear friends, I am telling you, our priority will be what we we'll see when we are trying to solve the environmental problem. We will not talk about uh, cleaning the city, its priority may be 8th or 9th. We must not talk about uh, the mobile harming bars, the all these things, as uh, these things are given in films, these are only 10th number in priority. The first seven priorities are 4th PC. We have to do three or four items within this 4th PC. Population pollution control, 2. Plantation, 3. Permaculture, 4. Permaculture means organic farming, 5. Apostrophe S is solar power. Sixth, C. C means conservation of energy and biodiversity. These are seven points. And other points will do very upwards. First of all, we'll concentrate on the seven points. At least three or four out of these seven points. And I am telling you that un unless we do the priority, we cannot achieve environmental problems by approaching the secondary problems, the tertiary problems. And uh, dear friends, global warming is not a problem, it is not a crisis. If you say that global warming is a crisis, you cannot help global warming. And that is the finding of my research, because I have done research on the subject for so many years. Global warming is an approach. So our subject is environmental studies. Our environment problem is our illness. It is our crisis. Number two. Number three, global warming is our approach. Our solution is 4PC. And fifth most important thing is our popular literature and popular talks, that is our communication. 
unless we do these things, we cannot solve environmental problem. It's just like a bridge. The subject of the bridge is that people were put into trouble, so the bridge was constructed. The problem was that people suffered a lot without the bridge. The approach is global warming is the approach. Unless there is the approach road, the bridge will be useless. And communication means once the bridge and the approach road is there, there will be transport and communication. These things are very important. But never consider global warming to a crisis. Why? That you, I shall tell in the next episode. Goodbye and good luck before ending this speech. I request you to uh, like my video, uh, to subscribe it and to share it kindly.